YTBC, what's the deal? So March 5th, another great heavyweight fight. Uh, Ruzan Chagayev will be defending his regular WBA title against Lucas Brown, the undefeated big Australian. Um, you look at these guys' age, like I've said before, you go on box rec and look at the top 20. 10 of the top 20 is 34 years or, or older. Uh, this is the fight where, you know, that case is going to be true. Lucas Brown is 36 years old. Ruzan Chagayev is 37. Lucas Brown, you know, six foot four, has the reach and the height advantage. To me, he's been feeding on subpar opposition. You know, guys like Julius Long, who's, you know, journeyman, Chauncey Williver. He did take Andre Rodinko's O. Um, he had a good fight with uh, Eric Martel Baholi, Baholi Canadian guy, uh, who went over to uh, the UK and fought um, Brown for that, uh, what, what did they fight, that Commonwealth British title, the one that Anthony Joshua has now. You know, so he's beating up on guys like that. Travis Walker, he decision to old James Tony, a 2013 James Tony. He's beating the J Jason Gaverns and the Paul Butlins of the world. Journeyman, you're supposed to beat and you're supposed to get through. Um, that's pretty much been his whole career since 2009 is some journeyman and just journeyman with uh, names like a Travis Walker and a James Tony, uh, who's an all-time great fighter. But right now, you know, everybody knows 2013 James Tony isn't a uh, contender right now. So Lucas Brown, you know, I looked at the WBA rankings and I seen an article with Lucas Brown saying, you know, he's going to be proud to be the first, you know, heavyweight champion world champion and it's like you know i hate the wba is doing this because we know that tyson fury is the real wba champion they have him listed as the wba wbo unified so i guess he's the super wba champion um chigayev you know he's not a champion man he's you know but according to the facts he is the wba regular champion but you just look at his you know the the fighters he's fought uh the contenders he's fought pianata freza kendo um, Alexander Povetkin, you know, he's also beaten the Travis, the Travis Walkers and the Cali Meehans. Um, he had the loss against Vladimir. Uh, he's beat the Skeltons and the John Ruizes and the Michael Sprots and the Matt Skeltons. He just fought a level, probably two or three levels higher than Lucas Brown. I think he's the better fighter, um, better technique. I think he's a very sturdy heavyweight. He's a he's a smaller guy, but he has good pedigree, good you know, good amateur pedigree. He's only five eleven, you know. They was calling him the White Tyson, you know what I mean? Um, but I think he's just the better fighter, you know. Now his thirty seven year, you know, him being one year older is probably more about like shit, six or seven years older, really, because he's been fighting since the nineties, you know. Um, was it the late late nineties? Chigai has been around. You know, so maybe the wear and tear, maybe it might show itself, but he's been pretty consistent, pretty sturdy over the last, what, shit, four years since the Povetkin loss. And even the Povetkin fight is a good, entertaining fight. That Povetkin and Chigayev and Povetkin and uh, Carlos Takan fight are both excellent fights. But go look at that Chigayev versus, versus Povetkin fight. It's a good fight, good, entertaining fight. Vladimir was just too much for him in 2009. You know, but rather than that, rather the Pavet, you know, the Klitschko and Pavetkin loss aren't bad losses. You know, losses are still losses, but they're not bad losses. Um, you know, he won this vacant, you know, WBA regular title when he fought Fred Zakendo. Some people thought Akendo won that fight. They were trying to get the rematch, um, but it didn't go down. So we're going to have Lucas Brown versus Chagayev. I'm going to go with Chagayev in this fight. I think he's going to use his boxing skills, his mobility, I think he can fight in the pocket, got quicker hands, sturdier chin. I see it being, I see this being probably eight rounds to four. And I see Chigaya stand alive in his heavyweight division. I don't think Lucas Brown is going to get knocked out. I still think he's a formidable contender. I just don't think he can beat Rules on Chigaya. If you look at the WBA and the rankings, uh, like I said, Fury is the WBA, WBO champion, the real champion. The regular champion is Chigaya. The interim champion, Luis Ortiz, rated number one. Lucas Brown's rated number two. Klitschko is number three. Briggs is number four. Okendo is number five. Six is Jennings. Seven is Ustinov. Eight is Fedosov. Nine is Tarver. And ten is Mark DeMore. Um, So, Lucas Brown wins this fight. The winner out of Chigayev and Lucas Brown, I wouldn't mind seeing that uh, winner of that fight fight Luis Ortiz 
versus Jennings winner. That'd be a good fight. Um, you know, just have the intern champion take on the regular champion, and then the winner of that can take on Fury or Vladimir, whoever has the, you know, the real WBA title. But having three different title holders, it's ridiculous. I mean, we've been over this before, but I think that's just ridiculous, man. Pretty much what it is is Chagayev is the glorified number one contender, and Luis Ortiz is the glorified number two contender. That's all it means. But as far as the fight, I'm going to go with Chagai. I just think he's the better fighter and better boxer, better footwork, better everything. I just think uh, Brown's been feasting on subpar opposition. And I think he's a lot slower than Chagayev. I think Chagayev is a, a smarter fighter also. So I'm going to go with Ruzan Chagayev to win this fight. YTBC, I'm out.